Early in the morning. What's going on, the people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm so happy we made it to the finale, guys. I can finally get my, my normal sleeping pattern back. I watched the episode live yesterday, so I managed to vote in time and all that stuff. I think the voting continues up until today anyway. You know who I voted for, man. Kai and Salam, they made the finale. This episode was all about the parents coming in. It's, it's boring as hell, that's why I didn't rush to get it out, but there's a few talking points anyway. So let's get straight into the video, guys. Like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me. Please press that subscribe button for me. It's rolled to 50K. We're nearly finished. Love Island's done after tonight. And guys, the parent episode never really gives what it's meant to give. I think it was India. India's family were the only family that really came in on smoke last time, I think. Or even the time before, like most times. So Ron and Lana are sitting there. They're talking about gravity. And how they got voted as one of the intelligent couples, I do not know. At least, I mean, Ron, Ron, I suppose, is fine. But Lana's really bringing down the average there. But anyway, their parents come in. And to see Lana all happy and shit, it was actually quite nice to see. Actually, clearly she's missed her family. Everyone cried though. I mean, me, I'm trying not to be so cold hearted with it because the fact that every single person cried was getting on my nerves. Like everyone's making noise and crying and high pitched screams. And I was just like, God, maybe I'm, maybe I'm like heartless or something, but I just, I just don't really do all that. So it's kind of annoying. <laughs> maybe that's just bad mind, bad mind thing to say. Cause on the other hand, people haven't genuinely haven't seen their parents for two months. You know what I'm saying? They've been outside, they, they've been closed off from the outside world. They've been isolated, they've been had cabin fever, they have been around the same people for two months. So it is, I can imagine it being quite overwhelming to see your family or friends after two months. So I'm not gonna be too harsh. It's just me, I was just getting annoyed. I was just like, come on man, stop with the screaming and stuff. Lana's mum approves Ron. I felt like Ron's, I felt like Lana's family approved too easily. I mean, they're, they're seeing the same things we're seeing, man. Like Ron, even though I like Ron's personality, I like, I like Ron as a character. I don't trust the guy as far as I can throw him. When him and Lana get out of here, you'll see, you'll see it straight away. And like, they ask him, oh, so you gonna move up to Manchester? I didn't even realize she was from Manchester, by the way. Because she's got a bit, she's got more of a bit of a Southern accent now, when all her family are fully Northern. So I don't know if she's putting that accent on to try and mimic Ron or something. I thought they both sounded like slow Essex people, but anyway, Ron's family ask him, are you gonna go out to Manchester? And he goes, nah, nah, nah. And but the way he says it was pure, like, he's got no interest. He goes, yeah, you know, me and Lana have spoken, we're gonna have our own base. We're gonna have a base, you know, in each kind of part of the country. And I'm thinking, you want that girl to be far away from you, yes, yeah, so and you can bring all these new girls in. I'm telling you, like, the guy don't care about um, Lana at all. And, but Ron's family said they love Lana and stuff. And um, I think Lana's family said something like, yeah, 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 I can tell the way he likes you because the way he looks at you or something like that as he's talking to you. And I'm thinking, that's all a person got to do now is look at you. First, it was Sawdust Tom with some dead poems, yeah. And now all, all a person's got to do is just look at you, engage with you when he's talking to you. Now, Shaq and Tanya's family come in next, and Shaq's sister, you could tell, had a lot of things she wanted to get off her chest to Tanya, but decided she didn't want to. Because basically, Shaq's sister and Shaq's friend came in, and straight away, you can tell with their energy that they weren't really impressed with Tanya's antics in it. The thing that they kept leaning on, the crutch that they kept leaning on was, as long as you're happy. As long as, like, I can see that you're happy, Shaq, so that's the only thing that matters. But that, that's, that, that translates to, in my heart of hearts, I don't give a shit if you're happy. She ain't no good for you. You know what I'm saying? You need to wrap it up. That's what it really translates to. But in this PC world or in this kind of, like, not being PC world, but in this kind of nicer world, they're just saying we're happy for you type thing. And because the friend says the same thing, he goes, you know, as long as you're happy, that's the most important thing. But the, the, the points they do raise, though, I think Shaq's sister is, is, is quick to say this, is that don't be so quick to forgive next time. Make whoever work a little bit harder. We know you're a lover boy, but don't make it so easy. And they just kept saying, you seem happy, that's all that matters. Uh, and Tanya's mum, Tanya's mum was, was, was proud of her. I mean, it's not like I was expecting them to really hold her, to put her to the fire, but you can see where Tanya gets some of her traits from. I don't really think her family thought she did anything that kind of bad in her time there. They were very supportive and proud of her, which is which is fine to be, I suppose, whether it's Ron or Tom. They, they all seem to support their kids in it properly, which is fair enough. So yeah, I, I wasn't expecting her to grill Tanya, but then, then I think she just made a joke about, oh yeah, no, don't worry, we'll, we'll slap Tanya for you or something like that. And I just thought, you ain't serious, man. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't serious. I don't think you rate Shaq that much. I don't think you think Tanya did anything wrong that much, but Whatever. Shaq even made a comment about, oh, you know, this is, the, this is my nicer sister. You know, my mother's sister probably would have rah rah. Shaq's sister basically says to Tanya, listen, my son is a good you. All he does is give his 100% in people. He gives his all. He always means well. We as his family, we just want someone who also wants, gives 100% as well and means well. Again, yeah, we're reading between the lines here. She, she, she knows that Tanya probably ain't giving her all or wasn't giving her all. 
and she's just giving her the formal warning now. Listen, but we're giving you the heads up now. Don't F around or I'm gonna have to be doing that protective protective sister. And Tom and Sammy's parents come in and they they, they literally start crying out. Like they've just won that the, the hundred million euro lottery or something. They're really crying their eyes out, which is again each of their own in it. I'm just maybe I'm heartless. The mums think they adore each other. Tom's family had called him Terrace Tom and they just start talking about the lower points and he starts talking about Casa. And he says, you know, this this idea of I think I think Nicole said it in her video as well, like like Casa, he should have regretted Casa. But he somehow, Tom somehow basically said, you know, I regret it because this, this, and this. But actually, at the same time, I don't regret it because it made us stronger and this, that, and the other. Now, I just don't co sign this narrative of you need to go through like emotional trauma and toxicity in a relationship to become stronger. Where, since, well, I was about to say, when was that the norm? But that's been the norm for a few years now. Toxicity in relationships has become very normal. Like, for example, for Tanya to use that as a reason to vote for Kai and Sanam was a bit weird. She said, oh yeah, they just haven't really gone through anything. I don't really get that. So like, because they haven't gone through any arguments, that means they're not compatible. <laughs> so we need to be making people cry. We need to be like ch theoretically cheating on people. We need, to be, we need to be saying I love you and then recoupling with next people for that to be a good relationship. You get it, I say that's very strange, but um, so Tom's saying he doesn't regret it for that reason. This is just weird to me. And, and the thing is, they're gonna win. Ron, Ron and Lana have got a good fan base, so they could really come second in that. But I do think Tom and Sammy are just gonna win. Like, they keep winning the most, they, they won the best baby challenge, they won the most attractive challenge, they, they won, I think they won second or third in the, in the intelligence thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know where they're getting these from, the, the, all these fake polls that apparently people voted on that no one that I know ever seems to vote on. It's a setup, man. Anyway, Kai and Saddam's family come in and um, Saddam was so happy for everyone, like for everyone, when everyone's parents came in and family came in. She's just such a lovely girl and Kai's family are, are proud of him. It's, it's just typical though. It's typical. So I was thinking, oh, I wonder, I wonder if, uh, what, what his dad's like. And straight away it's, ah, uh, oh, Kai's mum and stepdad. And I thought, yeah, typical. These ninjas, these ninjas, these typical ninjas ain't around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not to jump to conclusion here, but my dad weren't around either, you feel me? It's just, it's just so typical. Like they're happy for him and they're proud of him because he's been real. They even said those words, they said, you've been real. No one else said that about their parents. Sorry, no one else said that about their villa um, contestants, their sons or daughters. And then Salem asked, uh, you know, what, what do you think, what do you think dad would have thought of him? And I was thinking, rah, that's, that took a turn, innit? Like, when she said that, I thought, wow, that's kind of dark. I didn't know her dad passed away, so there was a real kind of deep moment there on that scene where they said that, that he would have loved it. And that's, that's lovely to hear, you know, that's real nice. Kai's mum was saying really nice things about Kai, not not just on the surface on the surface things that Tom says about Sammy, or, oh, she's stunning, yeah, she's stunning, uh, yeah, she's stunning. But like, they really be talking about, oh yeah, she's a great person, she's got a good heart, a great listener, lights up a room, like, she, like they were saying really nice things about each other. There's no denying about them. They purely have chemistry and they deserve to win the show wholeheartedly. It's Jesse and Wolves' turn, and I think they're the last ones, and Jesse just makes like, a comment like, oh, I didn't think anyone would come over for me. Do you think the producers will genuinely let everyone bring family and friends over? Everyone but you. Come on. You ain't gotta do, you ain't gotta do all that kind of fake, Victim insecurity stuff. You just don't like. Of course your pet fat. Of course your fat. If if anyone's family coming over, yours will be included in that as well. You know what I'm saying. So anyway, Jesse's parents they adore Will apparently, and they're talking about how they're on the opposite ends. Uh, and, and Will says it's gonna be strange, but I'm sure she said that she's gonna move to England anyway or whatever. And Jesse's mom starts crying. She starts crying straight away when they're talking about the whole castle thing. She just starts crying. See, like you can see where Jesse gets the fake cries from. Madness. But I think they're just a, they're just a weirdly emotional family or whatever. I didn't see no tears though. Still. Now what I like about Will's family is Will's family basically said, "Listen, son, we don't really rate that Casa and more experience, and they kind of hold him accountable for that." And he says, "Listen, it wasn't really me, and I I, I believe it wasn't really him." But then again, this this this, this is the same guy that's allegedly smashed a hundred things, allegedly, and by things he means sheep. But so if that's his body count, then he has got that kind of player side to him. But I don't. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I really believe he embellished that for the, for the, for the camera. So I think that was kind of out of pocket and I think it was out of character for him to move that mad and disrespect someone that madly. But I'm, I, I'm not, again, I'm not convinced about their dynamic. They're, they're in a relationship. He's talking about how, yeah, she asked me and I, just, I don't know, man. All this relationship stuff, for me, I'd have to be, see, I'd have to be seeing someone for like six months before that, that stuff even enters my mind, let alone like three weeks, four weeks eight weeks being in a villa, but it is what it is. And then Jessie, the way she goes, so what do you think of us as a couple? Like, 
that just seemed, the producers really tell them what to say in it. Okay, so make sure when you go and split off in your families, and make sure you ask like your parents and family, what do they actually think of you as a couple? What, you know, give you a Because right, right. obviously it's a build up to the finale, in it? So then Will does what Tom basically couldn't do, and he apologizes to Will's family for his antics and cast out. He apologizes for making Jesse feel the way she feels, for get upset. That was, oh, that was nice of him to do. He took some accountability and took some ownership, and he's definitely better than Tom in that, in that, in that regard, for sure. Sam and Kai are talking, and Sam reveals that, right, she's been in for four weeks. She's actually been in for half the journey that Kai's been in. That proves how long they've been together and how long they've been focused on each other and how long they've been unproblematic. So the ads come on now, and I was watching something on my phone, so I muted the TV. But obviously I've checked up on the TV to see kind of when Love Island's about to start, and I've seen that Maya Jammer's on I'm talking about After Sun, so I'm kind of watching it muted though. All I see on my screen is Casey and Rosie and Will and Jesse waving. And I was like, what the? Like, what am I seeing? And I somehow kind of clicked in time. And she, all I heard was Dom's couples. And you've got Will and that waving. Listen, I was so tired or whatever. I wasn't putting two and two together. And then I've clocked. Like, my boys messaged me on the group chat. Like, yo, did you see that? Can I bloop her? They just exposed who won. So, like, I was thinking, oh, mad. <laughs> so, I mean, listen, it was, it, was a, I was, it was a reveal that I was happy to hear. But it was a bit of a strange bloop up. My jammer, it wasn't my jammer's fault. That was the, the production company. That wasn't my fault at all. That was some, sim, some very simpy simple production team editing that just flops completely. You know, and then Maya's obviously gonna hold the brunt of it probably, but. So Will and Jesse get dumped, and Sanam kind of feels guilty for that. Um, obviously, because she must have voted for them, but listen, forget that, someone had to go. Someone's O has to go, it's one of them ones. Jesse and Will get dumped, and they're ending on a positive note. They're happy it's a dream finish and all that. They've dreamed, they've left together and all that stuff. Jesse still did have to make a comment about, oh, you know, we didn't make the 50K, or we didn't, get, we didn't make the final, but my man just doesn't even think about that. My man just wouldn't say that. I'd probably be thinking, oh yeah, I didn't make the final. I'll say that to Will, but I just wouldn't say that. Anyway, I'm, I'm reading into things. Ultimately, the, 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 survivor, the survivors, they all find out that they've, they've made the finale and it was a happy moment for them. You know, they all got a text and they made the finale and Shania made the finale and um, I'm, ha I'm happy for them still. I'm happy for them. I've always said they can't win. They've just been too toxic. They're not actually compatible, really and truly. But they do, they have chemistry. Yes, they do. Yes, they do have chemistry. And, and they've been together from the start. They've been intimate, like they've shown growth. They have to make the finale. So I'm happy with the finale uh, people. Um, Ron, and, Ron and Lana, as much as they're like friendship, I, they do have this kind of clowny compatibility that, that goes far. Tom and Sammy, they're obviously the, the, the sexy to the couple, the hot couple. That's like just, that's destined to be the favorite. They're all playing a part, but Kai and Sanam, they genuinely are the winners. We can say that Sanam's personality got more vanilla when she's with Kai, which she has. But I think she just calmed down, to be honest. You know, she's coming in on a bit of a, on a bit of a, you know what I'm saying? Let me kiss Casey and let me kiss Sky and you know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like she's just, she's yeah, she was fun, but she she calmed down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And now she's, you know, behaving herself for the for the better. So you know, everyone's everyone's evolved, I think, for the better. But Kai and Sanam, they they really do deserve the victory crown here. They they've definitely been the best. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm probably gonna go to sleep after this um, video. I thought let me get the video out straight away, and then I'll see you lot tonight for the Love Island live. The producers are the donut of the day today. Like and subscribe. See you soon. Peace.